Hello everyone and welcome back. It's Sunday, August 11th. Um, on my way to a removal uh, for what, what I was told was uh, Yellow Jacket's Nest uh, under some stairs uh, in an um, unused section of a storage building garage. Um, and it's actually the property that I was at last year. Uh, I did a video actually of it. It was uh, called Reclaiming the Barn. So if anyone hasn't seen that, you can check my channel out. And it's actually a two video series for that job. It was uh, they claimed the barn and then uh, they reclaimed the barn and then reclaiming the barn, I'm sorry. Um, so it's, um, it's like a horse farm. Um, they have a lot of outbuildings and stuff. So there's a lot of uh, wasp. Uh, they had a lot of nests there last year. So uh, kind of fitting that they have nest again. So I like my work, so I'm going back there. And then I got a, some other calls. I might do a cutout um, after that one. Not sure yet, still uh, getting the details, but um, which isn't too far from, from this job, so it works out good. So I'll try to film both of them, but I'll at least uh, film this one. Um, so yeah, it's just a busy, uh, another busy day for the wasp expert. Um, got, a, got a bunch of calls yesterday, and then actually got two calls this morning. Um, so yeah, just... Uh, crazy times but good times the money's coming in um, so I'll uh, see you when I get there hopefully uh, this job will go smoothly uh, all right see you soon all right so the yellow jacket nest under some stairs this is the outside entrance of course I start filming you don't see them but it was real busy earlier pretty big nest German yellow jacket they build the uh, biggest nest here I'm buzzing around I'm buzzing around my vacuum actually where I was setting up out over there and uh, they were uh, flying around. Yeah, I hate the color black, so I don't want to. But yeah, it's, uh, it's the entrance. Then they go back a couple feet and it's under a step, wooden stair. Like a crawl space, like a storage area under the steps. That's where the nest is. show you the path they take the nest is actually behind that door um, this is the area of under the steps kind of dark in here so flashlight so you can kind of see them so they're going in and out. It's like from the, the corner there, you can see them walking. Hopefully you can see it. But they, uh, they entered in there over to the right from the outside and then they go to the left. You can see a little bit of paper there. One's bringing back food. It's one of my favorite species. And like I said, they built the biggest nest that I know of, of any wasp. It's a pretty big nest too. Show you this uh, bad boy in a minute, but just some of the activity here. Build up some of the suspense. Good old Vespula Germanica, yellow jacket from Europe, as I've said in other videos. This property last year had like at least four or five German yellow jacket nest. So one of the queens that lived from that nest uh, probably uh, started a nest in this section of the barn. It's like the garage area. Kind of like to show the activity, not just the, the removal. Like they have a pheromone trail, they use their antenna and they feel their way back to where the nest is. Kind of taste or smell their way, and that one's building actually. That one there. Film with the GoPro, hopefully it doesn't crap out. I'd say there's at least a thousand in this nest. I'm not fully suited yet either, but once they go off, they go off, and I really don't want to get attacked by them. All right, 
So that's the uh, storage area. And then I'll show you the nest. You can go upstairs. I'm gonna check for some other nests too. But, so the prize is behind this door. And here's the nest. Here I am. In my hand for comparison. Actually have some envelope going up there too goes up there and then runs along a runner see one building right there a couple building and got like four calls this morning I was actually getting set up here I got another call Couple of structural yellow jackets. I the two of them I referred out, and the other two I'll probably take. Not sure I'll film them all. I already got another job planned for the after this one. So yeah, just up there, we're gonna check up there, upstairs area too. Just any nest. But all right. So now with this nest, I'm actually gonna fog them, and then I'm gonna uh, vacuum them after they drop. Now most of the nests, there could be half the colony out foraging. Just another shot of the nest quick. All those little scallops are where they're building, like they add, like they build from the the um, the top down, if that makes sense. So like uh, this little stripe here, if they build down and they complete and they build another, another, another. So all those waves there and this upside down, like kind of upside down scallops or seashell sea type thing, they. They add a layer, like a strip, and then they complete it. Like this one's more complete than, than that one. So they just keep building down and then the nest goes out. So like it could actually touch over to here by like the end of the, the season, like by late November when they're finished. This is like a tail, extra paper. Yeah, these nests are fascinating. I'd say Vidu is probably my favorite species, but this species builds the best nest in my opinion. Hear it humming, hear it buzzing. But yeah, it's just uh, in a spot that's not the best, so gotta do that. Can's just about kicked, but get in there. That'll stun them. Get them a little more, and then I'll open up a little more. And see what, see how many combs are in this one. Listen to this. Like some kind of engine. You know, the lighting isn't the best. Just trying to avoid a, a swarm as much as possible. So, we'll take effect. A few of them buzzing around, but it's nothing too bad. Open up a little more. So yeah, the combs would all be here, as you can see. That's the comb set. Take 
come out. Hit them some more. Got a few of them buzzing around me, but nothing too bad. It's pretty straightforward. So yeah, here's the nest. I'm trying to get a piece of me. Actually, I got stung once through my suit, and this was the species that got me. I was in an attic. It got me. Envelope. Show you the, the extent of it. Clean it out. I'm going after the camera. Disemboweling herself. Stinger got stuck in my glove. Hope I don't get any stings. Yeah, you can see them all in there. All these yellow jackets. Yeah, at least a thousand in this nest right now. I'm guessing at or around a thousand. GoPro's recording, hopefully. Getting the footage. A lot of writhing workers. But yeah, this one is a real straightforward. Big nest, but straightforward. Try and find the queen then. The vacuum will just be used for... That's gas in there. Nothing up there. Just making sure there wasn't any more nests there, but there wasn't. It was all contained in this spot. So just got to clean everything up. I think I got to do another one of these in a the ceiling after this. This is the season. These are all the foragers coming back. So I gotta hang out for a little bit. Get any on my knees. When I get got stung right here in the knees once I was on an attic nest, it was a species and one of them freaking got into me. Penetrated my armor. So yeah, that's uh that's it. It was built, probably attached to this <clears throat> stair somewhere, somewhere, excuse me. And then they, this the original, the queen started right there, sort of the point there. Let's see if I can find the queen, see how many combs are in this thing. So yeah, good sized nest. It's got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six combs, it looks like. This one broke. I think that broke in half or six or seven combs and envelope. I don't see the queen, but she's probably in here somewhere. Try to find her. But yeah, if you do it right, you won't have a big swarm, like in this case. So yeah, this is all just the, uh, the nest hall, the envelope. And they get a lot bigger than this. This is only about, I'd say, maybe half the size of what it'll ultimately be by October, November. I think it'd have uh, five or 6,000 workers. Yeah, sorry, I don't see the queen. She's, like I said, she's in here somewhere, but there's just all this stuff. See all the workers. Same species that I built that yellow jacket. Oh, there's the queen. Right here, here's the mother. Face to face with a German yellow jacket queen. Very yellow species, and the species is on six continents, except for Antarctica. I think the only continent it's not on, like I said in the attic video I did last year, is Antarctica. But yeah, thanks, Europe. They introduced from here, that's why I say that. I don't mean any. Offense, it's just kind of a joke, but hopefully nobody takes it the wrong way. Gotta have a sense of humor when you're doing this. The queens can sting. You see she's stinging in my glove. Sting didn't get stuck though. Just another shot of it.
and then I'm just going to put everything, this is what I'm going to do. Just put everything in here. Um, I got it out. It's pretty straightforward. Okay. I think that they weren't happy. Uh, no, I fogged them a little bit and kind of stunned them. So there was not really, is there a big swarm out there? No. That's good. So everything went well then. Okay, well, I was just worried about you. I'll see you down at the house when you're done. Okay, sure. These larvae here. Alright, I'll show you what I'll do now. If I get a good angle here, hopefully it's a good angle. I don't want to vacuum up any of the real big stuff. I just want to vacuum up the wasp and any kind of just debris, small debris. Victory is mine. accomplished take a look outside and here's the final product All is quiet now. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention back there when I was showing those combs was that they were all uh, small cells, so there were no reproductive cells, unlike.